Four years ago, band equipment was stolen from Ocean View Middle School. With tips from students, they were able to recover that equipment. Today, administrators are using the recent vandalism to teach a lesson on responsibility. Or everybody to together, say the number. Four, seven, seven, L -E -L -E. Help us, okay? These seventh graders are completely aware somebody went into their classrooms destroying all they could and stealing what they could carry out. Principal Linda Hernandez Avia knows the kids learn best when they can share their feelings. You can add heartbroken. Of the 13 classrooms vandalized, four are still not fit for students. The floor in this classroom has been mopped with bleach multiple times, but chemicals from the fire extinguisher still coat the floor. That is Rainier Tanago's classroom. A lot of my kids were angry. Um, we were all sad, and we just felt a lot of um, animosity towards these criminals that have come into our school, and you know they've done this to us, and we just don't know why they did it. It's demoralizing. It's 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 pathetic too because the, these people that are doing it are not thinking that they're hurting the students. You know, and, and what little resources we have at the school, we do our best. The best right now is plate protectors, while the 50-year-old school waits for new locks. Hernandez Avila says GPD promised to look out for the school, but until all the locks are changed, there's still a risk of a third attack. Students were encouraged to share any tips. It's the same message going out to the whole island. If you know anything, call 477-HELP. For Guam News Watch, I'm Balda Besage.